Aussie rider Richie Port has now spoken out about that crash which left him with a fractured collarbone and a fractured pelvis. Uh, he's spoken um, after the actual crash that took him out of the Tour de France, um, basically thanking all the staff and medics that helped look after him and also the support he received on social media. Um, he's also said that um, he's in no rush to get back on the bike and he actually talked about the moments and the, well, seconds before the actual crash, what actually went wrong. So this is what he had to say. I just remember um, I locked the, the back wheel up and uh, and that was it really. Next thing I was heading for the, the grass verge on the corner. And unfortunately I can't share the full interview with you due to um, copyright issues but I'm going to actually read the full statement that Richie gave uh, after the crash. So this is what he had to say. Obviously I felt much better than I do right now. I'm in a fair bit of pain. It's a big disappointment to be honest. I was in great form and the team was strong around me so it's disappointing. But I think that after seeing the crash I'm lucky that I've walked away. Well, come away with the injuries that I have. I remember I came into the corner. It wasn't like we were going too fast or anything like that. But I just remember I locked the back wheel up and that was it. Next thing I was heading for the grass verge on the corner. I said, stayed conscious the whole time. I remember the whole thing. But I must say thank you to the medical staff at the race and at the hospital. They've been fantastic. I don't think I will be back on my bike for a good while now. There's no rush to come back and hopefully I will pull on the BMC jersey by the end of the year. And then he went on to say that he'd been overwhelmed by the support and that it meant the world to him. Um, and that is pretty much what I'd say. So yeah, we've got three main contenders, um, three big characters actually out of the Tour de France now. So uh, Peter Sagan, uh, Mark Cavendish and now Richie Port. So let me know your thoughts. Who do you think is going to actually win this year? Obviously Froome is the favourite to win. So let us know what you think uh, in the comments below and I'll see you next video.